Hi, this is Kanna Babu. I am .NET com Angular trainer. Uh, now, basically, uh, I want to develop one project, uh, some real-time project by using Angular with combination of Web API, single-page application integration. Everything I will show in this project. So, basically, my requirement is something like I want to design one login page. This is the login page. So, admin will log in with username and password. And when you click on sign in button, it has to navigate to another page. And in this page, this is the employee registration page where I want to design the employee number, employee name, salary, gender. And uh, here I will try to find some designations in drop down list. And when user clicks on save button, I want to store the data in the database. And parallel, I want to display the data in the HTML table. And within the HTML table, when user clicks on delete button, I want to delete the record. When user clicks on edit button, I want to edit the record. So complete, I want to perform some CRUD operations with support of single page plus Angular plus Web API. So the complete design here, whatever I'm trying to do design, complete front end, I will try to use Angular. And the database, I'm using SQL Server. And uh, to communicate with uh, SQL Server database, I will take the support of Web API. And within the web api i will try to write the entity framework code to perform CRUD operation and the communication between angular and web api i will try to use ajax ajax calls is it clear so here angular project will run on node.js server web api project will run on ias and uh, uh, and the communication between angular and web api is by using ajax call so this is my requirement actually So initially what I will do, I will create one uh, table in my database. So first I will try to create one database here. Create database. Database name I will give as AG sample. And I will try to use the database. Use AG sample. And it will try to execute the query. First I am creating one database. And then I will try to use my database in SQL server. And uh, here I will try to create one table okay so command completed successfully go to your databases there you can see ag sample there you can see the tables here i have one table with name M. so i created the database table in my sql server now in order to develop this application the softwares that are required are first one is node.js and then uh, we need to check npm was installed or not and we need to install angular cli visual studio code and Visual Studio Editor, SQL Server. These softwares are required. So Visual Studio Code is an environment which is used to develop the Angular application. Visual Studio Editor I am using to uh, develop Web API. Web API code and Entity Framework code I will uh, develop by using Visual Studio Editor. And SQL Server I am using to create one uh, table. Okay. So, how to install Node.js? You can directly go to. I already I installed the softwares in my laptop. If you want to install manually, you can go to Google. And there you can uh, type Node.js. Node.js. There you can directly download the Node.js. Here you can download the current version. And whenever you install Node.js, automatically NPM also will be installed. Is it clear? Check whether. Uh, Node.js is installed or not, open Node.js command prompt. There you can check um, npm space hyphen v, sir, node space hyphen v. So that you can see the node version and you can see npm is installed or not, npm space hyphen v. npm version is also you can see and check whether uh, ang TypeScript is installed or not, tsc space hyphen v. I installed TypeScript. And in order to check whether Angular is installed or not, ng space v. Then you will get Angular CLI, the version number and everything. So all softwares are available. You can directly go to Google and type TypeScript uh, download. Then you will get one link and here you can directly download TypeScript. And in order to install Angular CLI, you can directly type this command. npm install space hyphen g at the rate angular slash CLI. Is the command to uh, install what? Angular CLI. Is it clear? 
So first of all, you need to check whether all the softwares are successfully installed or not. Is it clear? First one is, I told you, Node.js. Other one is uh, NPM. Another one is Angular CLI, Visual Studio Core, and uh, Visual Studio Editor, and SQL Server. These are the list of softwares that are required to develop our application. As I told you, our application is this one. So first, uh, I want to create a new project in Angular. Open your Node.js command prompt. And here I, I want to create the project in uh, um, D drive, my laptop. So I'll try to, uh, first of all, I'll go to my computer. There I'll go to F drive. And here I'll try to create one new folder. New folder, rename the folder as AG sample project. AG sample project I'll try to give. And um, here I'll try to, this is my F drive. F drive the name of the directory is ag sample project. Now I'll try to open my command prompt and I want to go to F drive, F call and enter and change the directory cd space uh, ag sample project. And here I'll try to create a new project in Angular ng space new space um, my project ng space new space my project press enter here it will take some time to create the project press yes again enter so i'll pause the video so here i created the project in angular now i'll try to open this project in visual studio code i already installed visual studio code it's a product of microsoft only my folder name is f drive uh, ag sample project Right, I'll try to open the folder. So here, uh, this is my old project. I'll try to close this folder, close folder. And I'll try to again open my existing project, what was already uh, created recently. Under node command prompt. So here, click on open folder. You can go to drive. There you can go to AG sample project. AG sample project, click on select folder. Then automatically my project is loaded. Here you can go to your my project. There you can see SRC. There you can see app. First of all, you must know the architecture of Angular project. Angular is a framework which was developed by following TypeScript. And Angular is, follows the component based architecture. Your entire project is divided into multiple modules. And module uh, consists of multiple components. So there is one root module that is app.module.ts. And there is one root component, app.component.ts. And uh, uh, every ts file will have two files. That is component.html, component.css. So module consists of components as well as services. So let us see this architecture in our project. So here I will try to open my Visual Studio code. There you can observe under src, app is there. There you can find assets. Assets is for... Uh, uh, displaying the images to store the images will use assets and here first of all you can go to main.ts under main.ts the root module is registered that is app module then uh, uh, go to app.module.ts so open your app there you can see app.module.ts and uh, app component is the root component is registered within module.ts and within this um, component here you can observe two things are there one is bootstrap other one is providers these providers, if we create any services in Angular, that services must be registered within what providers. So internally, there is a, a, a concept called injectable will be there. This injectable will create an object for the service class. And that the, the service object is singleton class. And that object is created only for one time. And that, that object is shared to anywhere throughout your particular application. And mostly in our project, if you want to invoke the Ajax calls, we'll create one service. And that service will be injected within this provider. And uh, once a service object is ready, then Bootstrap will create an object for this component. Component is also nothing but what class? Component.ts. And within this component class, I'll declare one constructor. And I'll inject the service object within that particular constructor. So I'm telling two powerful points here. One is... First, whenever we execute the Angular project, what is the execution flow of Angular project I am telling? 
let us see the architecture of angular project generally user will send the request to the server in different ways one is by entering url one is by clicking on hyperlink button one is by clicking on submit button so initially user will open browser user will open browser and enter url here the url is something like http colon slash slash localhost colon some port number 4020 slash some uh, uh, 4200 i think angular default port number you can change not a problem 4200 slash here i will try to access one page index dot html then what will happen here request will go to server request will go to node.js server node.js server and uh, uh, under node.js first of all what will happen means main.ts will get executed main.ts and under main.ts it will search for module name root module because root module is registered in main.ts and the name of the module is the app module the app module and then and then this uh, app.module.ts will get executed app.module.ts and within app.module.ts component is registered app.component app component is registered within app.module.ts see here you see if you go to main.ts module is registered in main.ts then go to app.module.ts here the component is registered app component and within app component if you go to app.component.ts there you can find two files are there one is app.component.html, other one is app.component.css. The design, whatever you want to do, so the design will be available in app.component.html, and the styles belongs to that will be available in .css. And this component.html will get executed, and the output of this particular component.html page will be rendered to app root within index.html. So actually in angular what is happening here means the request will go to the server only one time to node.js server and there it will search for main.ts and module.ts and component.ts all the component.ts files will convert into javascript files and all the html files css files these all files will be bundled so here bundling and minification concept will be applied grouping all these files into some zip file format and this Finally, the entire Angular project will be loaded in browser. So, the request in Node.js will send only for one time. The request to the server will go to the, the request will go to the server only for one time. And at server only, all the TypeScript files and everything will execute only for one time. And these all will be converted to JavaScript. And finally, after applying bundling and minification concept, the entire Angular project will be loaded in browser. And it will store in the browser in the form of some cache or some cookies or some format. Second time onwards, when the user will interact with the controls or anything, again request will not go to Node.js server. And if uh, you want to communicate with any web API code or any server side code, then we have to use internally Ajax to create the communication between Angular as well as your uh, web API service. I hope you understood. So I hope you understood. In the next part, we will continue this uh, project. For more videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.